What I'm going to do is I'm going to read um, everything that is to the right under tutorial and I might add some um, interesting or important facts. It says, welcome to Game Maker. This tutorial shows you how to create your first game. It will take just 30 minutes to complete and will teach you the important basics of Game Maker. We assume you run Game Maker in simple mode and um, if not, click on the file menu and press advanced mode to remove the check mark. Um, we have already done that. If you take a look under, you will see that advanced mode is checked and we want to keep it in advanced mode for this. In the game we create, some pieces of fruit move around. The player must click on the fruit with the mouse to collect them. For each collected fruit, points are scored. Fast moving fruits give more points than slow fruit. And there are bombs laying around that you should avoid. The game should look as followed. So if you take a look around, um, we have a brick border. Okay, we have like a wood background. You'll see that we've got uh, the gray bombs, and as the time increases on the game, more and more bombs will appear, or will appear which will make the game um, harder as time increases. Um, we've got cherries and strawberries and bananas and apples that are, um, will be flying around the room. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and click on next, and you should do so also. Page 2 of 15 says, adding sprites. Our game needs images for the wall, the fruit, and the ghosts. Such images are called sprites. In Game Maker, so the first step is to add some sprites. To add a sprite, click on the resources menu and press create sprite, or click on the button with the Pac-Man symbol. So I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to click on create sprite, and you'll see a window appear. A rather empty form will appear. In this form, press a button, Load Sprite. Go ahead and click on Load Sprite. In the file selector that appears, open the folder Tutorial 1, and in there, double click on the image wall.png. The sprite form should now show the wall block image, and if we take a look, it is. You might want to give the sprite an appropriate name, for example, SPR underscore wall. So under here, I'm going to type in SPR underscore, which is shift and dash, W-A-L-L. -L. Now press the OK button to close the form. At the left of the Game Maker window, you should now see the sprite you just added. In the same way, add sprites for the apple, banana, bomb, cherry, and strawberry, and give them appropriate names. The list at the left of the following window should now look as followed. So if we take a look at the image below, okay, so we want to add the apple, so I'm going to click on load sprite, apple, SPR underscore apple, click on OK. We now want to add the banana. SPR underscore B A. The bomb. So if we look under our sprites folder, we'll see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six sprites. And if we look at the picture of what it should look like, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So we do have all of them. Before continuing, you might want to save your work. Click on the file menu. So from here, we're going to click on file and save. Or underneath um, between edit and resources, you can click on the save game feature. <coughs> click on the next button to go to the next page of the tutorial. Page 3 out of 15, Creating Objects. Sprites are just images. They do not do anything. But objects in your game must perform actions, and they must move around, react to mouse clicks, etc. So the next step is to create some objects. We will start with the wall object. To add an object, click on the Resources menu and press Create Object, or click on the button with the blue ball. So if I click on this one here, it says Create an Object. 
The form that appears might look a bit complicated, but don't worry, it will soon become clear. We first give the object an appropriate name, OBJ wall. OBJ underscore wall. Next, to give an appropriate sprite, click on the menu icon to the right of the no sprite and the form menu that appears select the wall sprite. So right here I'm going to click on this button and I'm going to click on SPR wall. The wall object must be solid because we do not want the fruit to move through it. To this end, press the checkbox solid. As the wall needs no further behavior, press the OK button to close the form. The wall object should now have appeared in the list up to the left. Better save your work before continuing. <coughs> Page 4 of 15, the apple object. We are now going to create the apple object. Again, press the button on the toolbar with the blue ball. Give the object a name, obj underscore wall. OBJ Apple. Sorry. The apple is not solid, so the form should look as follows. Our apple object will need some behavior. First of all, it must move around, and secondly, it must react to mouse clicks. In GameMaker, behavior is defined as follows. Objects get an event. An event happens when, for example, the object is created, when it collides with other objects, and when the user presses the mouse button or on the key on the keyboard. You can indicate that the object should react to certain events by executing actions. For example, when the create event happens, we can execute an action to start moving. In the object form in the middle, there is a list of events. It's empty at the moment. To the right, there is a list of actions to be executed for the selected event. And at the far right, there are six tabs. Actually, we have more since we're in advanced mode. Our first step is to make sure the apple starts moving when it is created. Press the button Add Event. A form appears in which you will select Create. The event is added to the list. We can now include actions in this event by dragging them into the action list. Please hold the please oh, sorry. Press and hold the mouse on the top left action with the eight red arrows. Drag it into the action list and release the mouse. So I'm going to click, drag, and drop. A form will appear in which you can indicate the direction of motion and the speed. Press all eight arrows. As a speed, type in 8. Do not select relative and then click on OK. Page 5 of 15, continuation of Apple object. We have now indicated that the apple, when it is created, should move in any of the 8 directions with a speed of 8. Next we must make sure it bounces against the walls. For this we need a collision event. This happens when two objects collide with each other. Press the button Add Event, and in the form, click on Collision. In the menu that appears, select the wall object. The event is added to the list. Make sure it is selected. Now, click on the Bounce action, the bottom right one, this one right here, and drag it into the action list. In the form that appears, simply press OK. Our final step is to make sure the player can press the mouse on the apple. In this case, we want to move the apple to a random location to make it harder for the user to press it on to press on it again. And we want to give the player some score. Again, press the add event button and in the form, click on mouse. In the menu, select left pressed. 
This event happens when the player presses the left mouse button on the object. Drag the jump to random action to the list, which is the X to the question mark. Click drag and drop. In the form that appears, simply press the OK button. This will make the apple jump to a random location. Next, we need to give the player some score. At the right of the form, select the tab page labeled Score. A new set of actions appear. Drag the top left set score into the action list. In the form, indicate a new score of 50. Now we do not want to set the score to 50, but we want to add 50 to the score. To this end, click on the checkbox Relative. This concludes the definition of the apple. The event and action list should look as followed. So we can look at the picture down to the right and compare it to the picture to the left. Press OK to close the object form. We now have two important objects, the wall and the apple, which are now both shown in the list to the left. Better save your work.